Prophecy. September 18, 2011. Another major calamity will strike the USA shortly. Large trees are seen broken, fallen. Damage is evident all around. Traveling is difficult. The Southwest must be aware of major tornadoes, storms and the like. The law reveal the finger of God pointing to the West of America. Hallelujah. And as usual, much repentance is needed. The Lord again revealed that in spite of the calamities that have just hit the earth, we have just been having so much floods and earthquakes and, 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 and eruptions and storms and, and hurricanes and, and fires. But the Lord revealed in the spirit, the Lord revealed the, the trees. I can see the trees coming down. I, I can see driving becomes dangerous. It's in the air. In spite of the fact that we have just gone through so many calamities, more is in the air. And man must turn to God. Man got to turn to Christ because more is coming. People in the West are bracing for a rough night and cleaning up after the Santa Ana winds knocked down trees and crushed homes overnight. High wind warnings and advisories are up tonight in five states, including California and Utah. Lee Cowan reports these are no ordinary winds. Southern California is used to Santa Ana winds this time of year, but these were like Santa Ana's few had seen here in more than a decade. I've never, ever seen anything like that. Gusts were clocked as high as 80 miles an hour, and that was just outside downtown Los Angeles. Hundreds of thousands are without power. Dozens of schools are closed. Some businesses shut. And many are now homeless. I didn't expect this to happen. Crystal Walters had been riding out the storm at her home all night when the neighbor's tree fell and split her house in two. I'm just trying not to cry because it's sad because the holidays are coming. In nearby Pasadena, police say 23 square miles are littered with trees and power lines. At least 40 buildings are damaged beyond repair, and half the city doesn't have any water. Whoa! It's not just California. Outside Salt Lake City, the National Weather Service reported a gust as high as 102 miles an hour. It's all the result of two pressure systems at war with one another. And as KCBS chief meteorologist Josh Rubenstein says, the rest is sandwiched in between. So you have these two big features that are very close together, a highway up here and a low way down here, and you've got these winds that are just sort of funneling right through the west coast. And they'll remain in the funnel through tomorrow, even as the cleanup continues. Well, Scott, we thought this was a, a pretty telling example of just how strong those winds were. I mean, these root structures here, they're not exactly very shallow, but they were still no match for those 80 mile an hour winds, and forecasters expect those winds to be much the same tonight and into tomorrow as well.